Hello and welcome to another one of my lead code videos. In this one, we'll do lead code 2558, taking gifts from the richest pile. This is basically the question in the lead code weekly contest for this week. So we're given an array of gift piles, right? Each of the numbers here represents how many piles there are in the gift. And K represents the number of rounds we can do. And in each round, we have to pick the pile with the maximum number of gifts take the square root of that and put it back, right? And so what we're asked is after k seconds or k rounds, how many gifts will remain, like the total sum of all the gifts in the pile. So what will be our approach to solve this problem? So basically, first we'll maintain a sum of everything in the pile, right? We need to know how many things are in the pile. And then on each round, we'll take out the biggest one and we'll do that using a priority queue because that's good for you know always picking the largest element. So every time we pick out something, we'll subtract it from our sum, and then we'll take the floor of the square root and add it back to the pile, and so we'll also add it to our sum, and we'll do that k times, and at the end, what we're left with will be the sum of the number of gifts. So let's go ahead and code that solution. So first we need our two variables, which is the sum and our priority queue. And just a couple of things to take care of. This should be long because you know each gift pile can be potentially up to 10 to the nine and there can be 10 to the three gifts. So you know the long should cover that. And for the priority queue, since we want to pick the biggest one, we'll basically have to reverse the comparator, right? So instead of just doing comparing A and B, we'll compare it in reverse B and A so it'll sort or it'll act as a max PQ and sort it in reverse. So the next thing we need to do is just go through our gifts array and add them to our two variables that we just created. So here's our gift array and now I'm going to increment this in sum and obviously also add this to the priority queue. So now that's that's done, what we'll just do is while k minus minus greater than zero, so we'll this will do k rounds in this loop. And each time what we want to do is pick the largest, right? So we'll say largest is pq.pole. And we want to subtract this largest from the sum because we've taken it out, right? But then after that, what we want to do is we in the pq, we want to put the floor so we can just cast it to int of the square root. So this puts in the square root of the largest back into the pq. And we should extract this as a variable so that we can add that back to our sum. So I've extracted it as a variable. And now what we want to do is sum plus equals square root since we're putting that back in the PQ, right? And so this whole thing will go on for K rounds. And at the end, whatever sum we're left with is going to be the sum of the things in the PQ. So let's run this and see how this does. All right, accepted. Let's submit. Perfect, 100% runtime and memory. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.